Hey everyone, it's Craig again here at Damont Manor House and uh, we're out at the back of the property here. It's uh, been a relatively nice day here today. It's been raining for the last two days. And uh, remember we said that we were gonna get water down the side here next to all these bananas. And this was a big rush of water here yesterday. And um, it was about four feet wide. And it's a constant trickle of water. You can see it, it's constantly running because it bubbles out from underneath the rocks. So that's pretty cool. Bananas, these are plantains here. And uh, those are gonna be bearing fruit shortly. We've got a few banana plants bearing fruit and they're actually quite small, but they're still bearing fruit. So here it is, right here. So this is the I'm gonna go up this little way. crypto. Smile crypto, you're on YouTube. He's getting big, isn't he? He's a cute little thing. I'm just gonna walk right in the water here. But this is a big palm plantation farm, all Masenki palms. These are old, 25, 30 years old. They're tadpoles. They've got tadpoles in there. Tadpoles? Yeah, there. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, look there. There's the water coming out. See? Yep, there's the water Under coming out. Underneath here. Yeah. Underground. Coming out from underneath. Yeah. Right underneath there. You see bubbling on the right yep. side of the stone here. So it's a constant run of water, which the bananas love it, and the plantains. They really do. All the puppies are out with us on puppy patrol, all four of them. <laughs> There's Mr. Bo. But then in dry season, it dries all Zolly, he's getting big too, crypto. And there's little Pudgy in the back there. He's very adventurous around here. He gets to stay here at night where our other three come home with us. So. Pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah. So there is a good shot of the house from here. At the store. And you can see the sides all coming up, which is great. Mr. Oliver. Mr. Ollie, he loves the water. He's uh, the only one that loves the water. And uh, he doesn't even mind taking a bath. He loves it. As long as you rub his back, he's fine. But he's always in the water. And Bo's a little bit... Bo's a bit tentative. Tentative with it. But he's still in there. Is it nice, yeah. Bo? Yeah, he said, I'm coming out. But Mr. Ollie, he was staying in there. Yeah. Playing, he loves it. I know, you would jump in there, bud, wouldn't you? Pick this up in a second. Hey y'all, so uh, this is the path that the boys come down every day. We haven't cleaned it up because they're always walking on it. And um, this actually goes right through, right by that house here, and straight back through the school and just coming by this right over there. Yeah. So this is still our land, just. We're still on our land. And there's the house. There's the house. See it up there. So what do you think of this house? What do you think of the progress? Well, looking from this point, it's looking like a house now. Yeah. Before, everything was on the ground floor. A lot of the work everything was, low. was done on the ground floor. But now you can actually start to see the bricks going up. Yeah. Which, which looks like a house. And yeah. It, look, it looks quite formidable. Yeah. If it's the right word for that. Formidable. Yeah. yeah. But it's any bigger of than house. it appears from there back here. Yeah. It's a lovely spot back here, right under the tree. It's shading this the sun. It's nice to actually have the sun out. It feels good. I've got this long sleeve <laughs> sweater on today. It's a winter <laughs> thing. I thought it was going to be cold and wet today, and it wound up being hot and sunny. So I've been sweating all day and forgot to bring an extra t-shirt. But anyway, <clears throat> there you go. So, look at how green everything is. It's good. We just wanted to make sure that we got a 
nice shot of the house from back here on this part of the property. So well, good afternoon everyone. Craig here as always, welcome back to a demo of Manor House here on YouTube. And it's always a pleasure to have you with us. And um, we finally got all the boards off the bottom of this stair. So that hasn't been cleaned up yet. We just got it off late. And uh, check out this stair. How nice and smooth this is. Yeah. And it is this thick. Let's see how thick it is. So when you walk on them, a lot of uh, stairs that you walk on that are very thin, when you walk on them, they go twang, 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 because they actually bounce just a little bit. This one has absolutely a no bounce. It is as solid as it can be. Fellas finished up getting up. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine high. So this will make this door here, which is the back French door, seven feet. We'll come back in uh, tomorrow and we'll do all the boxes. So we'll come in and do all the concrete boxes and put the rest of the cage up on the iron rod and everything that you see. So it's a bit short right now. But we'll come in and bust these off, these uh, cutter rods, and uh, place it right over the top of it and go right up. And it will all be hanging off up the top here because we're going up from here. So they cleaned up the veranda. It was actually getting a mess because of all the concrete uh, falling down just along the edges and everything and they've been mixing concrete up here and if you don't get it off now you'll be chipping it off with a hammer so we had them come up here just before they left and they cleaned it all up it actually looks quite good and uh, I'm just trying to project manage as we go and uh, keep it clean and tidy as best we possibly can so yeah it's, uh, it's looking like a house now isn't it so especially over there in the corner when that beam gets up there and comes around you'll be able to see the door so all these doors here are seven feet tall this is a double french door it's the front door out back there so it's a nice straight shot through the house and you remember me talking to you about these pillars that are in here and in the inside of the house on either side of the door and over here so there are also a few Four of them one that's got to be going here one just inside the door here because this is going up this height above it because it's got a big arch so they have to make sure that um, we have enough strength to carry the roof on this house because it's going to be mahogany just like all this down here uh, we've got to come back in here when we get a few days that is uh, quite dry and actually hit it with carbolic, which is a wood preserver again. So um, there you go. Looking pretty good. It's nice to actually see it at the right heights now. The front door, you got the window to the bedroom. Step back over here. Got the window in the bathroom. It's going to be the shower area, and then you got a window way in the corner over there. That's the toilet window in the master bathroom. That window right there is in the master bathroom. That's uh, going to have a bathtub underneath it. And you got the closets on either side of the walkway into the bathroom. And you've got two windows over on the master with the French door. <clears throat> so they'll come in and they'll put that box up there and the corner beams to the windows will actually be uh, solid concrete there that'd be actually quite nice and you'd be able to see both of the windows over there in the corner probably by uh, wednesday thursday i'll get another shot of that so you can see it and it. Um, front veranda and we cleaned it up uh, so it's a nice big window here so we'll come in and we'll concrete it up to here yeah. And then we'll come in and just zip that off. Zip, zip. And that'll be fine. It's a nice big veranda out front. It's not too bad. It's a smaller veranda. 
compared to the larger one out back because that's where the big livable area is. So this is the dining room window just to the left of the front door. We were going to put the window to the pantry in the front over here but because of the general nature of the window that it doesn't go all the way down to where these windows start it was starting up higher because it's got to be above a counter uh, we didn't want to ruin the front look of the house because every single window on the front is at the same height they're all six foot windows so that's why we decided to put it on the side of the house over by the um, kitchen bay window so it's looking pretty good. It's been a nice day out today. We uh, had very light rain this morning and it just dissipated out and it's actually been quite a lovely day today, which is great. It's always nice to not have rain every single day. And when it's sunny, it gets relentless on the sun every day. It's hot. It's 96, 97 degrees. It's beating down on you. You gotta get out of it. And then it starts raining and then you're like, God, I wish the rain would stop. But all the plants are doing really well. I'm going to walk up on the scaffolding here. So we made all this scaffolding. And um, here's the, the window in the main bathroom, the master bathroom. So here's the master bedroom, bathroom window. So you can see what the house looks like. From this side of the house. It's not too bad. You know, I'm an amateur. This is the first and last house I will ever build. It's a, a very painstaking thing. Sometimes you forget things like uh, some of the pillars that need to go over on the insides. You know, we probably should have put those down on the foundation level, but we still have an opportunity to get them in there properly, and uh, we will do it. Um, I just thought the exterior walls might be able to hold it, but uh, I was told by Cecil and Abu two foreman on this job that uh, it actually needs to have uh, some footage on it. So it is what it is. I'm learning as we're going and um, yeah, there's nothing I could do except take their advice and grin and bear it and let them get on with it. So not too bad. I'm going to come around. The scaffolding goes all the way around the side of the house because it's actually uh, very difficult to get nice straight walls without having scaffolding on the outside. Very difficult is one of the bedroom windows. And you can see where the French door is going to be sitting right in there. And you're going to be stepping right out onto the back veranda. You can see how nice and big that is. You're going to be stepping right out onto the back veranda. You can see how nice and big that is. And that, the proximity right out to the patio area. So that's pretty good. I'm liking it so far. It's a very complicated house, this one. Uh, maybe we should have tackled something that was a bit easier but since it's our first and last house we thought we'd just grin and bear it. Uh, we knew we weren't going to hit the rainy season uh, when it came around March, April with the roof on this house. It's just the way it went and um, yeah, it's life. So there's the corner windows. Okay so you got this big window here in the back and you got another one just like the one on the other side. So we'll come in and we'll box this whole thing in and it'll come right up and then you'll be able to see the windows and corners. So let me uh, come around here on a scaffold. It's a bit sketchy. I'm uh, watching what the hell I'm doing here. I don't want to go flying anywhere. I've got them all stacked up. Oh, there you go. That's better. So you can see the step on the back stairway. So all this will all be concreted in, all this area, all the way up. To the level right to this level here and then this one will come up here and then down so i'll have a nice step up on these windows they're three feet high and about uh, 18 inches wide so it's, it's pretty cool look and uh, it's going to be nice when we get the, uh, the finish on the outside of this house. It looks pretty cool. So keep on looking at the picture. Keep on looking at the blueprint. Trying to follow everything as best we possibly can. And um, 
Always leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Always remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to make sure that you uh, are notified when I drop a video on this uh, account. And um, yeah, remember to share the videos around or something like this. So um, that is about it for me today. And uh, we will see you in other videos. Thanks for always following along. See ya. Bye for now.